generation of social media and um, uh, so much of influence i wouldn't say um, bad or good influence but just influence of uh, other uh, western traditions or traditions from other parts of the world uh, so uh, being a kathak teacher and uh, teaching this art form to kids who are like 6 7 10 12 and teenagers who easily get um, uh, who who are teenagers supposed to be the age where you are like distracted and trying to explore everything else uh, so how difficult is it to like um, have a classical art form taught to them uh, to make it relatable to them to understand because the process of learning a classical art form is very long and it is not just something uh, you will somebody will teach and you will learn but you yourself have to immerse in it to understand so as a teacher what are the challenges um i would like to say that kids are interested to learn dance mm-hmm. that love that they have for any kind of movement or any kind of rhythm that comes very naturally to them it's it feels like it is more towards bollywood because i think it's easier yeah it's easier for them ek 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 ka beat chal raha hai so they can easily connect with it um still there are a, there are a bunch of kids who will keep on coming to us and it's from all age groups like from as small as 4 and 5 um to like 12 13 when they want to actually start they see something and they want to start by themselves where it's not just the parents pushing them first things first i think what you need to make it for them is interesting mm-hmm. because nowadays no kids are so smart it's matlab mujhe to lagta hai hum bade hi buddhu the chote the tab um like you'll you'll have to tell a 6 year old or an 8 year old why you're doing this exercise 10 times right you have to be able to speak their language and explain it to them mm-hmm. you cannot just say that no no this is exercise you'll do this 10 times in a class when you come to the class no you'll have to explain it to them for them to make logical sense of it mm-hmm. you if you teach them why to say a prayer you cannot just say that you know karna padta hai class ke pehle no you have to tell them that there is some amount of concentration that a prayer brings to you yes. so even if you are saying this particular shloka that i'm uttering whoever like my mother used to tell the kids that whoever you believe in your parents your ghar mein mandir hota hai wo visualize that and pray to the god to give you the best kind of energy and concentration for you to learn and sp- spend this one hour mm-hmm. you have to speak their language make them understand talk logic to them mm. sometimes um the moment you speak their language they'll feel like okay this is something i can easily connect to and um i don't think um, they steer away from longer Uh, like years of training or something per se if somebody is genuinely interested uh, if you develop that interest or if you give that interest some air mm-hmm. um they will want to keep on learning mm-hmm. but sometimes you need to inspire them indirectly also sometimes you need to show them people who are a little elder or older to them and say that you know she continued she had a scholarship exam this year or she had a 10 standard exam this year but look she continued and she still scored 83% mm. which is good so you know if other kids can do it you might just as well try if you want to you know keep in doing this it's very doable you can do good in this and i think kids to understand because they are exposed to so much nowadays are they anyway doing 15 things at a time so the only part is you need to show them value Mm. Okay. Why are you doing this? Why are you learning Kathak? If if it's just a you know thing your parents have sent you for, then I don't even waste my time on that child. I see that you learn as much as you like, and then you know you can learn. Just keep this as a hobby, as a good memory in your heart. But if I can see potential, then I put in my best to convince the child that you've got potential and this is what you can do, and these are the. steps mm-hmm. they also need to see this as a responsible or a respectable profession okay so that for that all of us as a community have to work towards it for them to see that 
oh this can be a sensible career option mm-hmm. not just a glamorous one not just the one with a lot of shows and performances but this can be a professional like career career mm-hmm. um so i think the right kind of attitude towards children uh, kind of works like magic okay